dear students today we discuss the assembly language programming of 8051 microcontroller in intra based logics right so this is a, a second lecture intra based programming already we uh, thought you one program this is a second program okay so this logic is very simple assume that int pin is connected to switch so very very important line interrupt one pin is connected to the switch okay it is normally high it is given in the program itself so very very important line whenever it goes low it turn on led LED is connected to port 1.3. Very very important, right? It's normally off. Normally off. As long as switch is pressed low, the LED should stay on. See, very very important. The here only the saying the logic for the interrupt, right? Simultaneously perform the toggle operation of. Port 1.5 with the delay of 500 milliseconds. Here logic is very simple. In the previous program, intro program, I explained you the software-based intro. Right? This is a hardware-based intro. That means whenever you perform the action externally, when see, please understand, intro is enabled only in the low transition. Whenever you have a transition from I to zero, your interrupt will be enabled. It's a low logic enable pin, right? It is enabled only in the lower logic, right? So initially the interrupt pin will be in high. Whenever you press, see the this is a logic they given clearly. The interrupt pin okay where is the interrupt pin see here you can see here in the pin diagram the interrupt one it is connected to 3.3 okay so in the in the initially in the default always it will be high whenever this is connected to switch actually that is the logic whenever you press right so please remember interrupt one it is connected to pin third port in the 3.3 that is fourth pin of the third port, right so please understand this is very important so interrupt one it is connected to port 3.3 pin right so come to the program right whenever you press whenever you press the switch led will on right rest of the time led will off right here you have a two led generally you have a two led okay one led this is connected to positive negative is connected to 1.5 port number another led is connected to 1.3 this led you have the control logic with the interrupt right this will be toggle it will do the toggle operation for every 500 milliseconds right it is a continuous process whatever connected in 1.5 is a continuous process but whatever you connected in 1.3 that is a interrupt based log. whenever you press the button externally this will on this will on right so as long as which is pressed low the led should stay on this is the interrupt logic okay i hope you understand right so this is a this is a external interrupt this is a hardware interrupt okay you are giving action external okay so we will go to the program org 000h that means i am saying to the assembler start from the address of 00h so long jump main you know we are skipping the intro vector table right so the rest of the we need to start from 
zero zero three zero H because the those address are allocated for interrupts, right? So we'll go to the main programs. Once you see this, once you execute this instruction, it will go to the label main, right? So what is the main program? So zero we starting from the address of org zero zero three zero H. Okay, here you see very important set B for three point three. Why? See very very important. See here. See the uh, line. Assume that interrupt pin is connected to the switch. The interrupt one pin is connected to for three point three. It is normally high. Normally high. It is said in the program. So I need to write in the instruction. Right, so that's why you can see here. I uh, set this port. That is a uh, set this set P port three point three. This specific pin I will make a high. Right, then I am clearing the port one point three and I am clearing port one point five. Okay, you can see here it is given in the program one point three or one point five. Right, this is very important. Okay, I'll I'll say why it is very important. Okay, so I just it's I'm making a default uh, status like a one point three and one point three. I'm just clearing. Or otherwise, you can you can even fix, uh, consider as I'm configuring as output pin. I'm configuring one point three as output pin. Okay, similarly the three point three I'm configuring as a input pin. Okay. Yes, once you get the input, you will get the action, right? I hope you understand, right? Now, very very important here, move IE hash 1000000B. See, so this is the interrupt enabled register. So, 100000. 100 right so you can see here that b defines a bit so i return in terms of bit see here ea always in a you need to enable if you if you clear this bit if you disable this bit your interrupt will all will be cleared see here the next bit is enabled is ex1 what is the ex1 it's the external hardware interrupt it is connected to this is the i and T1 it is connected to 3.3 okay so I hope you understood right who I e 1000 b so I loaded I configured this intro right now see whenever you press the button whenever the the port that is intro pin 3.3 we connected the pin int and one in three point whenever you press right it will go to this this isr program it will come to this interrupt service cutting program the address it's specified is 0013h what is this actually this address is specified for this hardware interrupt okay this is address it is specified already in the vector table i should use same okay set b port 1.3 whenever you press set b port 1 that means led will glow then it will return from the center and it will go to the main program immediately i'll off this 1.3 see while you press the uh, 3.3 interrupt LED will do and it will complete the logic then I am clearing port 1.3 then only that off right the LED will go to the off condition then you can see this is interrupt logic the rest of the time whatever like a the port 1.5 uh, to generate the toggle right so LED have to glow for every 500 milliseconds so there I am now I am writing the program for that condition so set B I am making a logic 1 then how much delay I need to give 
500 milliseconds so absolute call delay so it will go to the delay program this program will execute the give the delay of 500 milliseconds okay so the return in the loop so it will give the total delay of 500 milliseconds so that means from port pin 1.5 it generate the delay of 500 milliseconds okay then again immediately i'm clearing this that means it will it will come here right then absolute call delay so what is the delay again you have a 500 milliseconds right again it will go to this label and it will perform this task right so so then short jump here so it is a it's a continuous process so you will be getting a you will get a delay of 500 milliseconds that port 1.5 you have a continuous led glowing it is toggle for every 500 milliseconds whenever you press the interrupt uh, external pin 3.3 your led will glow only when you press the button whenever interrupt goes to the logic zero you have a led will glow the rest of the time led will be in off condition 